Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Now I can't remember where we last were. I believe we were just like turning in stuff for this woman. I'm not sure. I've had a little bit of a break from the recording and I just came back to this now and I can't remember. Poor memory. Anyways, what we're going to do now is just complete these different quests for Haven, I believe. And going to have a look at see what they're all about. So let's go on to our actual quest Thing. Okay, so it is all selected. You just got to try and find the people on the map. There we go. Okay, so friend. If you're here to clean, Hess can get your bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you Nara here, come to me. Oh, you're him, friend. Inquisition quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Okay, that's interesting. So we can. Uh, so tell me about the requisitions. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on material. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I presume Harry. filling the I presume filling the orders is similar to what we did when we gave uh, sort of items to that woman back in the... I don't know what it's called. A chapel, maybe? I don't know. But then you just click on inspect requisitions. Uh, requisitions? Requisitions. <laughs> and here it says we need one login site and five iron. So we haven't got either, which is kind of annoying. But now that's a new quest which we've got, hopefully. Awesome. So we just got to find some a logging site and two more iron, and then we are set and done for that. Just, just go and see what the rest of the guys want. So maybe we can do all these quests in one big bulk. Maybe have a side quest episode this episode, just to get away from all the cutscenes and see the world. <laughs> okay. So what's in here? Okay. Find recipes through exploration or by visiting merchants. Visit an apothecary with herbs you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. Use the equip station to assign different potions to each of your party members and to replenish the potions you are carrying. Use the upgrade station to unlock permanent upgrades to your potions. Okay, so as I said before last episode, these down here are the extra potions you can do. Upgrade potions, I'm sure this guy will tell us what's going on. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Um, sorry, what? Yeah, who are you? I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making us wear, though. So, you're welcome. Oh, well, uh, thank you then. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah, well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adana. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. <laughs> do you need any help, bro? Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. He's been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Okay, so let's investigate. You, he's not really cranky. Okay, so how do I, yeah, how do I order potions? How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Sounds good. Okay, so we can loot, I think we can just like steal stuff from everyone's house without any consequences. So we got our, so I presume the curved star grip is for when we're making items, because I believe we can make them. Apprentice, so that is for a mage, I believe. And then you got the belt, so which is item so that's pretty cool oh what's here read pulse normal breathing normal still unresponsive careful drop de drop fed of prep l fruit extract to hasten his recovery a lot of thrashing mutters about too many eyes something about the gray encouraging no idea that might be about me when i was knocked out cold okay so let's have a look at the upgrade potions and see what all this is about so if we click on, okay, you can upgrade potions you have already unlocked. To upgrade a potion, select a category, select a potion, then select the upgrade. Potion upgrades require a significant amount of herbs to unlock. In return, they give it, uh, they give permanent and significant bonuses to your potions. Okay, so let's have a look. So we can do regeneration potions. It regenerates, I presume, health and stuff. 
uh, at a faster rate. Let's have a look at this. So, yeah. Oh, no, we need elf root and we need a royal. Okay, that's cool. And what about the rest of this? So, tonics? Or is that like alcohol, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. And then grenades. So, we can't unlock any of those yet. We need to find some recipes for those. But that's pretty cool. Okay, I think we'll like go around and talk to all our party members in a bit. We've just got one more person to go see, and then we'll do like a huge sort of bulk um, doing all the missions and stuff like that, which will be really, really cool. Hello, Varric. Wow, okay. I really like the way they've done this, though. This is absolutely awesome. And uh, the reason I'm like so happy at the moment, I just finished watching Grimm, which is like the best TV show in the world. Just like finished watching the fifth season, I believe. So I don't know when the 16 comes out, but I hope so soon because it's awesome. What's in the crates? Sorry, I'm a, I'm like a little loot loot whore. Onyx and then okay. Oh, fifth traitor. <laughs> that's that's nice. Okay, let's talk to is it this guy we need to talk to? Uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually Pimpin, so yeah. Sturdy as wool. Perfect. Good. Well gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. That sounds awesome. Can you improve my equipment? Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. If you find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of it. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Sounds good. Do you have any designs? If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. You should have what you want just outside. Sounds about good. And then investigate. What's your story? What can you make here? Do you have any outfits? Okay. No. <laughs> that's just that's just learning. That's just learning. If you guys want me to do an episode where I go around and talk to NPCs and learn all their story, like leave in the comments and I'll like do an episode just on talking to everyone and then I'll go through reading all of the stuff. Okay. So what we got to do here is journal. Okay. So that's a lot of quests. We'll probably be able to get all of those done in this episode anyway. So, have some armor made. Okay, when the right materials... Uh, with the right materials, Haven's blacksmith can craft some pretty decent armor. By blacksmith, like him creating it, he means us. So, let's go to craft armor. So, to craft new armor or weapons, you need to you need a schematic and enough materials. The schematic de determines the appearance and potential power of the crafted item. The materials determine the specific stats and power that will be added to the new item. Okay, so by the looks of it, what we can make at the moment is a scout coat which is medium armor. I believe that'll be for us. So that's pretty cool armor. So if we click on that, so each crafting schematic has one or more slots. Each slot accepts a specific number of materials or even metal, cloth, or leather. Fill all available slots to craft an item. Okay, so there are five different types of crafting slots. Utility, offense, defense, damage, and armor. The type of slot determines the stat that will be generated from the material placed in it. For example, placing iron in a defense slot gives a bonus to melee defense, while putting it in a utility slot gives a bonus to strength. Experiment with different combinations of materials and slots to create unique items and fit your needs. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on this. Yeah, no more reading. So we got Druffalo Hide, which as you can see down the bottom here, it gives the primary to low armor rating, gives us a plus critical damage, plus cold resistance, stuff like that. And then you got this, so I'm going to go for the Druffalo Hide. And then I'm going to go for the... Yeah, let's go for another Druffalo Hide. This is... Wow, that's awesome. Check out that. Okay, so now we've got a plus 10% to Cold Resistance. So Craft Item. Now I've got an Ice Walker. So let's rename this armor... White Walker armor. If I can type. <laughs> I can't use a keyboard. White Walker. Accept. Okay, okay, so now we've got white walker armor. So now if we go to items, armor, 
and we got White Walker armor, which is awesome. So it's not white, it's yellow. We probably should have called it like Prince armor or something, but that's awesome. Okay. So that is that quest all done and out of the way. So now we got to go to modify some armor. Okay, so modify it. That's easy enough. So modify weapons is this side, modify armor. So now with the modify armor, upgrading an item adds the upgrade stats to the item stats in addition to changing its appearance. For example, attaching a hilt with a plus three cunning bonus to a sword adds this bonus to the sword. But this is armor, so it's going to be for armor. So here we go, click on the white walker armor and we got medium arms. Then we got that, so confirm changes. That gives us a bonus to range defense, so we got a plus three to range defense. And there we are. Now we've got some pretty awesome armor. So let's go to our quests, and now let's say visit a potion loaded station. We haven't visited that, you will visit that in a bit. So find his notes and the requisition. So let's do the requisition first. So let's head over in this direction, because that direction I believe is just for the woman. Oh, this is pretty cool. Wow. Check him out. Hey, let's go talk to Cullen. Hello, Cullen. He's the guy who we spoke to at the beginning. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. <laughs> I did just, like, kind of seal the sky, so that is kind of important. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I like to stand out. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited for the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. So, Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. Ah, I believe a mark will help. Everything's a mess. <laughs> nah, you can't say that. you got to be from, like, high morale. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work, I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, oh, I like it. I like your views yet. <laughs> what? No. Okay, we can't use that one then. Just use a positive. You thought this through. I don't mind. You understand our situation. I appreciate your opinion. Look around. Our people are well organized and committed. Despite what the clerics think. We are in the best position to help. <sighs> Still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Okay, so what I forgot was with this game, you can like go through romance type stuff. Where Where's the road? You can go through romance, so you can. I think you can marry people and all stuff like that. Or, I don't know, go out with them at least. Which is why it gave us that option with the hearts. But um, I think this is going to be a normal playthrough. <laughs> so if you guys want me to show you like that part of the game, then feel free to ask and I'll show. So when the compass pulses, press the V button. I've already discussed that with you guys. It basically shows you all the items around. around. Yes, we should look around. There's a hut over here, so maybe there's stuff we can steal. Is there loot? There's a bird cage or dog cage or cat cage, something like that. What's in here? Ooh. Okay. So there's something in here. Oh, here we go. So, oh, these are the notes that the guy from the medical place wanted us to get. Is there no loot in here, though? Okay, that's disappointing. Nice portrait on the wall, though. But I believe over this direction... Yeah, here we go. This is the direction it wanted us to go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Iron ore. So over here you got all the iron ore which we can get, which is for that other quest, which is pretty cool. I think next episode we might focus more on main storyline. I just wanted to show you guys like a bit of Haven, and it's pretty awesome. I think I can still see the rift through the top of that roof though, maybe. I'm trying to find the actual wall door thing. So I will go and like collect um, 
Where, where's the door? How do I get through? No, but I'll try and collect resources and stuff outside of the, outside of the um, playthrough so that you guys don't have to see me do it. But I was just thinking, oh, I'll just show you guys this. Oh, let's go hunting. Dun, 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 Boom. Hells yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Can I loot the um, ram? I can't. Okay, he doesn't have meat on him. So there's got to be something around here that maybe. Got to be something. Here we go. Found it. Got it. So this is like a logging stand, which you can claim. And the more logging stands you have, means you can research different stuff and complete different quests. Oh, there's another ramp. Get it. Hells yeah. Getting the hang of this. So can we actually fast travel? That would be a really, really helpful type thing. I don't think we can. That's really annoying. Or maybe we can, and I just don't know how to. Which, yeah. I don't know. But let's travel back now, and I will see you guys in just a moment once we are back, so you don't have to see me travel. Okay, hello guys, and we are back in the actual city. Yeah, it took a little bit, but I didn't want you guys like having to see and talk, like listen to talk me talking all the way through. But here we go. Uh, we have to go to the requisition table and give stuff. Can we jump over the wall? Yes, we can. Okay, there's loot. Loot, how did I miss this? It's right there. Grab it. No? Okay, it won't let me use it. But you go to the quest table, and we can now equip all soldiers with swords. So our soldiers require additional weapons if they are able to be effective. Reward plus, plus one power. So I believe power can be spent. It's kind of like military money. Like your how, how much influence you got over people. And then we got the last person, which is up here who we have to speak to. And he should... I keep on getting stuck on rocks. But he should just be up here and we can tell him about notes. And we also got to use one of these, so equip potions. Here we go. Potion assignment and replenishment. You can equip or replenish potions for each party member. Drag potions from the list. On the left, got hiccups again. Uh, yeah, so basically look, you just drag and drop. Now we got it. So we click on them. Two, three, four, five. And there we are. I found the stuff for you. You give me money now. You're back. And in one piece. Here we go. Give the notes. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. He couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You did good to work with that. Well, considering you make me do everything myself, I hardly Fair think way. that's appropriate. Okay. There we go. Fran Tabidura. So let's have a look at our journal. We got no more quests in Haven, which is awesome. That's cool. Okay, so we've got the Storm Coast. I don't know what the Storm Coast is. But here we go. Hello, Solus. Okay, let's travel to the war table. And we'll have, have just a little brief sort of look at what the war table has to offer. Which would be kind of cool. Maybe, like, dive into the hinterlands in a second. Sort of see what's going on with them. But let's have a, let's have a look. Some of the war council. Okay, so it's just going to give us this little cutscene. So we've got Olaus, which there's nothing on this map at all at the moment. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so contact Clan Lavellen. So Clan Lavellen offers greetings to the Inquisition and wishes it well in sealing the breach that has been opened in the sky. While some Dalish clans have uh, hate humans and wish nothing to do with them, Clan Lavellen has always dealt fairly with all and wished only for peace. Yeah, I said that really weirdly. That said, we have on occasion been forced to defend ourselves from those who saw us only as potential victims. It has come to our attention that a uh, member of our clan is being held captive by your Inquisition. He went to the Conclave only to observe the peace talks between your mages and Templars, and we find it highly unlikely that he intentionally violated your customs. If we have... If this fear has been charged with a crime, we would appreciate hearing of it. If not, it would ease our concerns to hear from him to know that he remains with the Inquisition of his own free will. So this is a letter from our clan people. So we can either have... She's quite diplomatic, I think. So your people must approach carefully. One of our elven scribes could deliver a message and share news of the Inquisition's fair treatment. The Dalish respect deeds, not words. 
let my elven agents deliver something to clan. Yeah, let's have her do it. Otherwise, he just sends soldiers and then troops. That looks a little bit violent. So let's have Liliana do that. So that's just basically them concerned, our clan concerned about us. But without any further ado, let's go have a look at the hinterlands and let's go have a look. So the hinterlands, we avoided the fighting, yada yada yada. It's fast travel. Dun dun dun. Venture forth. Okay, so Varric. Let's have Cassandra and let's have Solus. World of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. You know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here, as a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, and all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Uh, Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, never mind. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, it's pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. I grew up here. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostback. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Sounds good. Okay, well, welcome to the Hinterlands. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think I'm going to cut it off here. And in the next episode, we're going to go and explore this marvellous little forest. All ours. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have an absolutely awesome day.